Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got another non-alcoholic beer to review for you and it's one of the big ones. It's one of the ones that's been around for a little while. It's from German brewers Erdinger and it is their alcohol free. So it's coming in at 0.5%. Actually it says contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. Described as a refreshing isotonic drink. So this stuff is actually meant to be good for you. And the way they promoted it suggests it's good for you. Isotonic contains vitamins and reduced calories. Um, it is an alcohol-free wheat beer for Merdinger. So I'm going to be putting it in my wheat beer glass. Um, I have had this one before um, in a pub. And I had it on draft as well, I think. Pretty sure it was on draft. And I remember enjoying it. Um, loads of information about this because this is an interesting one. So it's a wheat beer, obviously without the alcohol, and it's an isotonic drink full of vitamins. So let's see what it says. It says the distinctively, I'll start again, the distinctively refreshing flavour of our isotonic thirst quencher Erdinger alcohol free is what makes it so unique. It's purely natural ingredients supply the body with important nutrients in the form of vitamins B9 and B12. These help reduce tiredness and promote the normal functioning of the body's immune system. B12 also promotes normal energy metabolism. It contains 30 milligrams per 100 mil and 150 milligrams per portion, so 500 mil bottle. Um, a varied and balanced diet and healthy lifestyle are important. Erdinger alcohol free contains less than 0.5% ABV, not alcohol free for the purposes of UK food law. So there you go. Wheat beer. Ingredients, water, wheat malt, barley malt, hops, and yeast. And it's been imported by Carlsberg Marston's in Wolverhampton. So, yeah. So, it's got no alcohol in it. Um, but it's meant to be an isotonic drink. So, it should make me feel a little bit better, in theory. So, uh, yeah. Let's quit, quit, quit waffling. Is the a bottle cap. I like the shade of blue on this one. We'll get it out. Into a glass, see what it's all about. The cap wants to come off, which it doesn't. There you go. Get it poured. Thing is, is a wheat beer. I'm expecting a great big head on it. She's already developing one. That's certainly looks the part. Top it up. Oh, yes. Put that there so we can see it. The Erdinger Alcohol Fry, as I pronounce it in Germany. But there it is. Hazy as you like. Really well carbonated. Straight away got a carbonation chill on the glass. But look at the carbonation rushing up through that. It looks like Erdinger. It looks like your standard rather than Milweizen. Beautiful, thick, creamy, two finger, just over two finger, tight white head. Beautiful golden color. Masses of carbonation. It looks wonderful. It looks cracking. It looks like a Weizen. Let's get me snouting, see the aromas telling us. There is a multi citrusy aroma. There's a savoury note to it, which is reminiscent to a lot of other non alcoholic beers. It's fruity, not just citrus fruit, almost like a berry fruit to it. Getting a bit of spice as well. There's, there's touches of a German wheat beer in there. But there's that savoury note that is definitely sort of the non-alcoholic thing. But all in all, it smells okay. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Whoa. That's really well carbonated. That is um, quite a crisp, light-bodied, quite a heavy fizz. Yeah, it's kind of the mouthfeel is more like a 
um, an energy drink, as soon as it's an isotonic drink, that mouthfeel, that fizz on the palate, it's kind of reminiscent of a, of a Lucasade or something like that, you know? But there's a nice kind of bready malt flavour to it. It's, um... Erdinger itself, in terms of their Weizen, it's not one of the most sort of banana-y, clove-heavy visons you'll ever have. It's it's more of a spicy one. And I feel like this is more in the same boat. This is an Erdinger. In name and taste. There's more of a back end to it. There's more of a slightly savoury, spicy finish to this one. There's none of that sort of clove and banana and things that you get with traditional visons. Um, apart from the Erdinger one. Touch of sweetness on arrival. A sort of like a bit of a, a floral, slightly honeyed lemon type flavour. It's quite pleasant. And then there's that touch of savoury note. Slightly bready malt sort of uh, mid palate. And carbonation is really quite considerable. That rush, that fizz you get when you first sip on it. It's quite strong. Floral, light, citrusy. It's certainly lighter in body than a real Vizen. Definitely lighter, definitely thinner. Do you know what? It's very drinkable. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. Um, I think it's important to try not to compare this to Erdinger Weiss beer. It's a completely different animal. Apart from that slight that slight touch of sort of drying spiciness at the back end to it, that is reminiscent of the original. But other than that, these are completely two different beers. It's lighter than a real Weizen, it's thinner, it's more carbonated. It's more floral, it's more savoury. All in all, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It's actually very drinkable. Um, but there is that that savoury note that is quite pronounced on this. That It, it, it reminds me anyway that it's a non-alcoholic beer. Um, if you haven't had too many non-alcoholic beers, you might not be familiar with that yet. But as you try a few, you'll probably identify it. If you haven't, I would I would recommend this to have a go on if you haven't already. Um, excuse me, because it is drinkable. It is quite pleasant. Looks nice if you give it in a proper glass. You get that in an Erdinger glass, no one's going to know. Mm. How am I feeling energised? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Patch of up. I mean, look how much stuff. Nearly polished that off already. It's decent. It's decent. It's another solid non-alcoholic beer. There are a few that are absolute dogs that you shouldn't touch. Um, but this is a good one. This is a good one. This is very refreshing. Does the job. It tastes like beer. It's slightly more savoury than the normal Erdinger. Um, but all in all, that's not too bad at all. Um, I would definitely drink that again. I would buy that again. I think I paid £1.50 for the bottle. Um, and when you think the normal wording of Weizen is 180, so you're saving a few pence. At least I can get in the car and go for a drive still, which is always a bonus. Um, I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. I quite enjoy it. Erdinger, they're alcohol free. 8 out of 10 for me. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of this one. If you've had it, please give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I do appreciate it. Till my next one, you take care.